Hey gang, I got a new toy and it looks like this. Would you look at that? I've been on this weird buying spree. I mean, it's all part of the shutdown because like business is weird, everything is weird. So how can I scratch that itch? And I found it with old, I, it, yeah, I guess it's old, uh, vintage rack gear on the inexpensive side. I'm not out there buying uh, $2,000 Eventides and uh, $3,000 Lexicons and stuff. No, no, no. I'm buying $150 ARTs. And I'm going to show you them because to be quite honest, uh, when I was a kid, like this stuff was awesome. I remember seeing this ad and I was driving in the back seat of my parents' car. They were driving, I was in the back seat and thinking like, how many effects can you put on a guitar? Look at all those effects you could put on. And I remember just being gobsmacked. And now I know you could put a delay pedal in your loop and you're kind of good to go on the effect side. And to be honest, most of the time I'm just recording dry. So, but still, look at all the effects and I remember thinking more is better. This comes from also the same brain that was thinking, you know, strats have three pickups, as Paul's have four, that's better. Steve Vai's guitar has five and Richie Sambora has uh, six. So clearly that's the best guitar until Nigel Tufnell came along. Anyway, I got this cheap ART box off of uh, Guitar Center and it arrived kind of broken because they, they put the ART in a thin layer of bubble wrap and put it in a huge box. So it was just like as it arrived. So it's gonna have to go back because the primary encoder knob just does what it wants. So I can't even show you presets from square one. We're gonna do what we can do. I did, I have put headphones on and tried it out and I was really surprised. I thought it sounded really good. 80s, but super pleasing. Pink psychedelic vomit, let's do this! Here it is, this is the art SGX 2000 Express, which is after the SGX 2000, it's 400 times more processing power. So uh, God knows what that equates to. Uh, the first weird idiosyncrasy with this box is there's no power switch. All right, it's alive. So the way I look at it is the top half is an SGX processor and the bottom half is uh, their analog section. Although I think the SGX has analog distortion in it as well. You could quickly adjust drive, thrust, growl, warmth, crunch, and edge. Yeah, because you know, when you're on stage, maybe you're thinking, gosh, I wish I just had a little more thrust. Look at all those effects. Oh my gosh. So many effects. It's beautiful. So the way I have this setup is going direct. Uh, I figured the headphone out sounds really good. The direct will probably sound really good. And then if I could bring myself to it, I'll run it through an amp. I don't know if I'm going to do stereo, but uh, you know, we shall see. Okay. This patch is called Dream. <laughs> Okay, all right, well, let's just move forward. Dream, we'll come back to dream. Look at this, I'm turning, nothing's happening, nothing's happening. Oh, I got one, and it went backwards. I turned that way and it went backwards. Okay, it's fat. Crispy crunch. That's very Boston-y. I don't know, it's not even Boston-y. Oh. 
So that's not terrible. Okay, let's go to these second stage equalization things. Thrust, I believe, is just the bottom end. Yeah. Well, it's, it's a little crack, crackly. Well, we're gonna have to go to another preset. Harmony lead. I don't know where the harmony went. Give me a harmony. Uh, oh, it's not in there. I don't know why it's called harmony lead, but hey, man. That's authentically 80s. I'm not just saying, yeah, let's do an 80s y thing. You want like authentically 80s with the like grid and Michael Knight kit and Airwolf and Manimal, Street Hawk, Ivan Drago. Now we're talking. That's a lot of delay. Okay, so now we're gonna find that delay and turn that down. We're gonna keep that chorus up. More drive. Growl. That's mid range. It's so 80s. It's a, that's great. Pretty cool one. Ooh, boy. It's a bit weird. Hard and heavy. <laughs> it's the same as all the other ones. <laughs> Off. Oh, much better. Have something that they called AES acoustic environmental simulation we're in wood baffles right now light floor rug Ceiling drape? Here's off. I really like the sound. It's direct. It's to 
totally reminds me of this. <laughs> I like that song. Bon Jovi, y'all. I'm back in. I have the ART SGX 2000 Express plugged into the Fryat power station going into Marshall 412 mic'd with two SM57s back into API preamps into the Tonelex blender into lot it's recorded <laughs> Broccoli. Oh, why do they do that? Well, there are heavily compressed process sounding uh, sounds. <laughs> I think that's all I could smooch out of this thing. Uh, there's some fairly acceptable tones, and if you're in like a synthwave band, this could be a godsend. It is so 80s, it instantly takes you back there. Um, you know, the raw amp tones aren't gonna put Dave Friedman out of business, but they're a thing. And direct, the direct is really good. Plug it into an amp, it's okay. So, you know, all these old ART SGXs, SGEs, all of them. There's something to be uh, said about them. Good times for relatively cheap. That's my new uh, stand by the side of the road sign. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, uh, tell a friend, call your mom. See ya. I don't have crooked hats. I have uh, a crooked head.